The Immersive Sim, an immersive and action-packed genre. These games use the first-person perspective in order to make you a part of the experience. You're terrible. So today we're going to look at one of the best immersive sims of all time. <laughs> well, looks like we're in for a great adventure. With all of that said, welcome to Bionicle 2003. Bionicle 2003 was released for the 6th generation of consoles and the PC. I'm going to be playing the PC version. It only took me a few steps to get it working. First, I had to get an external DVD drive, as most modern cases don't have 5 quarter inch slots for DVD drives. So once I had that, I installed the game. Except it refused to launch because it used a form of DRM that doesn't work on modern Windows. So then I had to find a cracked executable in order to play the game that I legally bought. But I also wanted to run it in widescreen, so I got a hex editor and modified specific hex values to let it run in widescreen. And what do you get for playing the PC version of the game? Well, you get what is probably the best Intel advertisement of all time. And I did all of this because Bionicle was my childhood. Holy shit, that is a massive Bionicle collection. Can I suck your Now with all of that out of the way, let us dive into Bionicle 2003. Bionicle is an immersive sim that takes place in the third person and... Oh, that's just a helpful pop-up that explains how to play the game. Now that that's... Oh, another one. How kind of the devs to... W wait, w what is happening? PLEASE STOP WITH THEM! So I was never able to beat this ice level because five-year-old me skipped all the pop-ups that the game would give you. And for once, the pop-ups actually explain something useful, and it does so only once, so I was never able to get past this section as a kid. Well, I mean, now I beat it, so, you know, there's that. Hold on. Listen for a second. Did... Did they seriously just slap a cricket on Pahatu's back? Who made this game? Uh, Argonauts? The same people who made Croc and Star Fox made this? How did you go from making classics to producing shovelware garbage? I can't take this anymore. This game is so boring, nothing happens, it recycles boss fights, and it doesn't even have consistent rules. Like in the level where you play as Galley, the water is fine, but in the Onua level, if you so much as touch the water, you die. And don't even get me started on the jungle level, where it's just platforming from random platform to platform. Before I go, I'd just like to give a quick shout out and thank you to my friend Rezzy for the voice clip. I'll link to their SoundCloud if you're interested. I'll also link my Discord server and Twitter in the description below if you're interested. I have another video in the works that should hopefully be released sometime soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.